all, good evening, welcome to Albert's Hall. Kathy McDonald's gonna be up here in just a few moments. We're gonna warm things up with a little bit of New Orleans style funk, something from the legendary meters. Something called a sissy strut. stage to a lady who's been uh, singing some really high energy music for a long time now. I met her about seven years ago. She came to Toronto to front a band along with another friend of mine, Mr. Roy Young. We had a 10-piece R&B band going for about four months and uh, then later Kathy and I worked together with Long John Baldry. But before all of that, of course, she started with Ike and Tina Turner and uh, Joe Cocker, Freddie King and a number of other people. But right now she's touring on her own and uh, she's not backing up anyone. So please welcome up to the stage for the first show from Seattle, Washington, Kathy McDonald. Thank you. It's good to finally be here. 
Now I think I'm ready. special guest, Miss Julie Sparks. You'll see her red-haired self hopping up and down for different songs. It's a Sean's better half. Miss Julie Sparks. Sparks will fly. From Toronto. 
Unchain my heart. Who's one of you in every crowd? Unchain my heart. street vendor, they would be under arrest within seconds. There'd be something illegal about it, there'd be something festering in the cops' mind. I love your street vendors. For every six dollars, I'll be up to, I'll be up to my armpits by the end of this trip, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna do one of the older blues songs. This was even recorded by the Jelly Donut King, C.C. Ryder. you have 
equally wonderful groups of people, me being the oddball that hangs out at the vendors. We know what I like. I liked the idea of living in San Francisco for a few years, so I like to always do this song. No, no night is complete without one Otis Redding sitting on the dock of the bay. Let's check for this one. <laughs> Sitting on the top of the bed 
something that I used to do many, many years ago. Late 60s, early 70s, who knows? 60s and 70s sort of flowed together into the finest mess I've ever been involved in in my life. Can't remember a few days of it, but God, I saw a lot. And I continue to see a lot. It's a song that was written by Steve Winwood when he was Stevie Winwood with Blind Faith. I can't find my way home. This is still a theme song of mine.
much. Nothing like a good shot of the 60s, 70s, is there? Until you dive into the 30s. Julie Sparks, come on up. singing parts. You, you did your homework, I must say. They're very popular on the band, don't you know? Someone to lay down beside me. This is a Carla Bonner song. She's a wonderful writer from Los Angeles.
Matt Pussy. Okay. <laughs> okay, right now it's time to uh, feature a little vocals from our keyboard player, Mr. Bill Dow. He's uh, having, a, having a drink right now. And uh, he's just chain smoking his way through this whole tour. Yes, uh, Canadian Cancer Society would like to talk to you, Bill. Do some endorsement work. <laughs> anyway, we, uh, it's funny the way Bill got involved with this band because our friend here, Butch Coulter, who's back there having a drink as well, probably, was in a terrible accident in Calgary about two months ago. It's a, it's a couple of the best blues fans, actually, of in Calgary lost their lives in the uh, in the accident and Butch walked away with it with a bit of a smashed up elbow so he had to take a couple of months off to recover so we tried to replace him with uh, with Bill here and we liked Bill so much when Butch uh, came back uh, we had to stick with Bill so the band's getting bigger and bigger and uh, we're losing more and more money as we go along it's just great but uh, that's the way it is hey I've, I've heard when you start losing more and more money, then it means, you know, success is on the way. You, you hear about these bands like $500,000 in debt, you know, and then the next year, of course, they're driving around their Mercedes or whatever. It never happen to us, but... <laughs> anyway, we're going to feature Bill Dowie here on some, uh, some vocal work here. I had to do that for Kathy, she loves the John Wayne work. We've been, I've been practicing it for her. Some from Sonny Boy Williamson.
Papa John King, give it up for him. Give it up. Exciting vocals you'll hear anywhere. Please welcome from Seattle, Washington State, Miss Kathy McDonald. Caballeros indeed. <laughs> you said the G word though. Ooh, that's not acceptable, honey. But the good times are on.
town. We got one dollar, we got one quota, and we're ready, yes, we're ready, ready, ready to clown. jumping up and down. She's sitting right in front. She's helping us out. This is Toronto's own Julie Sparks. She's a giver. I did an album in 1973 entitled Insane Asylum. It was on Capitol Records. This is my pretty much favorite song of the whole thing. It's written by King Solomon Burke. It's called If You Need Me, I'll Be There.
city fond of Mr. John Cry. Then what you want is what you shall receive. Angel from Montgomery. This is for Tolba. A second. Don't you hate this dead air? This is not what you paid for. Well, these days you spins the wheel, you takes your chances, huh? I hope you're taking a good chance. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. I think I'm speaking for the whole band. It's very nice to be in Toronto. Thank you for having us. Be here one more night. Give yourselves a hand. Come on. You think that little of yourself? This is a large city. Come on. You'll love yourselves by the end of the evening. I promise you. Have your ways with yourself and your mind. Flies in 
Country set set at or seti? Uh uh. No no. This is this is. Wait a minute. Whose show is this? What is wrong with this picture? I like you folks that sit in the dark and shout out all these things. I appreciate it. Well, you're in the wrong spot, babe. Here's a little Patsy Cline walking after midnight. I'd like to express my sincere happiness that Katie Lang has got the world sewn up by the balls. I think she's great. And she is a true lover of Patsy Klein. So you got some walking after midnight.
of the set. Be really a clever caballero. Little Neville Brothers for you. Tell it like it is.
both sing like maniacs, and when it comes time to talk, it's like, thank you, baby. thank you very much. We both turn into Andy Kaufman with different color of hair. Ain't that nothing? <laughs> thank you very much. We're gonna do one more song before an extremely short break, and then we're gonna come back and wrap your socks. I come from the Seattle area. Here's a person I'm very proud of from the Seattle area, and that's Jimi Hendrix. Little Wayne, featuring Mr. John King on the guitar.
There's a little something that was written by Willie Dixon. Willie Dixon seems to have written every damn thing in the world, hasn't he? I mean, the Rolling Stones. Mm -hmm. Him and Chester Bennett. Yes. All of them. This, this made Howlin' Wolf very famous. It's a song. It's the only four-letter word that spells evil. The only word you cannot get arrested for, but if you do it, you're shit out of luck. <laughs> Behind this, 
I worked with Ike and Tina for three and a half years and did all the uh, studio stuff. Studio stuff. But my audition song was A Change Is Gonna Come, a tune that was written by Sam Cooke. And I've just, as they were coming down the stairs, I said, I don't know about you all, but I am doing this song. Dedicated to Aaron Neville and the Aaron from the Neville Brothers. They just have this out on their new album. It's called Butch, Where Are You Going? No, no, no. This is not drinking time. There's a perfectly good blow solo. Come on. I was thinking quick. A blow solo? Yes. It's called... <laughs> this song is for Pat Kilbride and Julie who are incessantly talking in the back of the room. Whoa, what will Sean think of all this? Change is gonna come. Give me a C. I was born by the river Ariel Just like that river I've been running ever since your life, is it? <laughs> Julie? Ooh, you must be a man well spoken. <laughs> okay. Here's a little bit of Bessie's Blues. Bessie Smith's Ain't Nobody's Business. Julie, I just had to have you front and center. <laughs> You're having far too much fun. Ain't nobody's business but my own. Ooh, before closing time, since we're almost on my time. Somebody snag me a vodka and orange and I'll pay them. Can't exactly dash. Me too. Forget you. Yeah, well, come on. Thank you. 
Check it out for yourselves, wiggle around in your seats for Aiko Aiko.
Giacomo Fino on an A, that's Canadian. Giacomo Fino on A, say it. Say it now, hey now, hey now, hey now, hey now. I go, I go on A. Giacomo Fino on an A. Giacomo Fino on A. Bring it down more. Hey now, hey now, hey now, hey now. I go, I can I use your credit card? Giacomo Fino on an A. Giacomo Fino on A. Talk about hey now, hey now. I go, I go, I go, I go, I go, I go, I You are fun. Giacomo Fina, eh? That's a mixed Creole Canadian, eh? You know? Oh, the old clock on the wall says, Welcome to Ontario. It's one o'clock. Wipe that bloody smile off your face. Whoa. After, it's like two minutes after one, everybody just gets all screwed up about this. And. Let's do a song from Elvis, the Jelly Donut King. Did anyone hear that silly interview I did on one of the college radio stations today? I said, working with Ike and Tina, I got the wonderful opportunity to travel to Las Vegas and gamble.